<laughs> Good <laughs> morning. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, James, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm having a good time in rainy England. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's how it usually is over here. Um, but it's, but it's a good day and it's not too cold. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay. Very nice. So hello to Mila. Hello to Joe, Claude, Sylvie, Fabian, Roland, Martin, and Andre, Didier, uh, Evelyn, and everyone who is like uh, live with us. So can you hear us, guys? Can you like send me a comment in the chat box and tell me if you can hear gems? Let us know. Let us know. Me. Hello, Mike. <laughs> how are you doing today? Hello, oh, Joel. Yeah. How, how is the sound? How is the sound quality? Yeah, let us know. Um, there we go. My my comments are coming through a bit later, I think. But yeah, I there is always a lag. Some oh, messages, sweet. so. Nice one. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so oh, it's quite exciting today. So it's very, very cool. So we are live and kicking. So today it's all about your English, and we are going to improve your English. It's going to be very simple. I just want you to know one thing when you type a comment in the chat box, and when James answers or when I answer, there's going to be a bit of a lag, meaning that maybe we are going to answer only one or two minutes later. That's normal because we are live. Anyway, at any time, you can go back to our fabulous YouTube channels or you can go back on Facebook or Instagram. I speak spoke spoken and you can rewatch that dictation. So. James is going to do the heavy lifting today. He's going to do all the work and is going to uh, give you do uh, is going to do sorry a dictation. Uh, the dictation is about watching series in English. So first, he's going to read the text, okay? He's going to read you a text which is not very long, but please have a sheet of paper and a pen to write everything down okay the text is about i think the text is 180 words okay so yeah, it's not, not too long. long but it's a bit long so he's going to read the text aloud at normal pace so just listen to get an understanding of what the dictation is about okay then then second step james is going to repeat each sentence twice at a slow pace with punctuation signs, okay? So you will have time to write everything down, okay? Does everyone understand what we are going to do today, guys? Please, could you tell me yes or no in the chat? <laughs> Let us know. Is that okay with you, James? Oh, that's 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 perfect with me. I'm I'm seeing all of these amazing hellos and um, welcomes. Hello, um, chat, so everyone. It's, it's great to see that. <laughs> yeah, super exciting for us, you know. Exactly. Because so, it's so much better to talk to you guys live than to talk to the camera, if you don't mind yeah, me saying. Sure. Even though technically speaking, we are still talking to to our computers, but we can see all of your comments. Okay. Exactly. So, it's that, in, it's that instant response. Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, the floor is yours, sir. Perfect. All right, guys. Um, I can see the yes is coming in, so I can see that you're all ready. Um, remember, make sure that you've got your pen and paper to, to write this down. Um, and I'll begin. All right. Watching series in English. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills. It allows you to hear English used in a variety of contexts, from casual conversations to complex discussions. By exposing yourself to different accents and dialects, you can improve your understanding and pronunciation. Initially, you might find it challenging, but using subtitles can, check, can help bridge the gap. As your confidence grows, try watching without any subtitles to really test your listening skills. Pay attention to idiomatic expressions 
and try to use them in your own conversations. Furthermore, series often reflect cultural nuances, giving you insight into the English speaking world's way of life. This method of learning is not only effective, but also enjoyable. You can choose genres that interest you, making the learning process more engaging. Whether it's comedy, drama, or science fiction, there's a wealth of content available to suit your interests. Remember, consistency is key. Try to make it a regular part of your learning routine and you'll see significant improvements over time. Okay, I'll give you a moment to, um, to finish up there, guys. Um, and let me know in the comments uh, when, once you've done and I will take the first comments to see that you're ready. Perfect. Um, there we go. And I mean, everything in this piece of writing is absolutely correct. Um, and definitely is what you should use while you're learning English, 100%. Um, so I'm waiting for the first one to come through. And let's see. <laughs> I can, ah, okay, perfect. All right, I can see a few few comments coming in here. So next up, as Adrian so uh, wonderfully told you, um, I'm going to go slower and I'm going to speak with much more diction and I'm going to break every word apart um, as much as I can because obviously when people are speaking English naturally, they blend every word into the next one. But here I will try and go as slowly as I possibly can. So, all right. Let's have a look. And obviously, if you missed anything first time, you can fill it in here. Great. Watching series in English. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills. It allows you to hear English used in a variety of contexts, contexts from casual conversations to complex discussions. By exposing yourself to different accents and dialects, you can improve your understanding and pronunciation. Initially, you might find it challenging. James, sorry to cut you oh, off. Oh, hello. Yeah, can you do it slower Absolutely. and uh, with the punctuation signs? Oh, okay, perfect. Absolutely. So That's we are going to begin at the beginning, and James is going to dictate slower, so you have enough time to uh, to write everything down, and also with punctuation marks. So, for example, if you if James is saying Period, it means point in French, which is this punctuation sign, okay? If there is a comma, do not uh, write down a comma. I mean, like, comma, C, double, double M, A, okay? Just the punctuation sign, okay? Perfect. So, it's okay. This is our first course live. First course live. I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and we have a great teacher here. So I know it was a little bit too fast. Let's start Sorry, again. Guys. <laughs> it's yeah, like you have a, a bonus uh, session, I would say. <laughs> All not, right. I, I, I've had too much sugar this morning. No uh, problem. Okay. Just so, you, just so you all know as well, um, in British English, we use full stop for period. So I might quite often use full stop instead of period as well. Um, so yes, I will absolutely go much slower and my apologies. So, watching series in English. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills, full stop. 
it allows you to hear English used in a variety of texts, comma, from casual conversations to complex discussions, full stop, by exposing yourself to different accents and dialects, you can improve your understanding and pronunciation, full stop. Initially, comma. Can you read the whole paragraph again, if you don't mind? For sure. For sure. Yeah, because it's a little bit too. Uh, I think a little bit too fast. Still a little bit too fast. And mm -hmm. make sure to read each sentence twice. For sure. For sure. So, and then everyone will be happy. I'm one hundred percent. Perfect. Perfect. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills. Okay, I'm going to read that one again. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills, full stop. Great. I'm going to move on to the next sentence now. It allows you to hear English used in a variety of contexts, comma, from casual conversations to complex discussions, full stop. Great. I'm going to start that one again. It allows you to hear English used in a variety of contexts, comma from casual conversations to complex discussions, full stop. Great, I'm gonna move on now if you're ready. By exposing yourself to different accents and dialects 
you can improve your understanding and pronunciation. Full stop. Can we start again? By exposing yourself to different accents and dialects, you can improve your understanding and pronunciation. Great. Going to move on to the next paragraph now. Initially, comma, you might find it challenging, comma, but using subtitles can help bridge the gap. Full stop. Great. I'm going to start that one again. Initially, comma, you might find it challenging, comma, but using subtitles can help bridge the gap. Great. You're all doing so well. All right, let's move on to the next one now. As, as your confidence grows, comma, try watching without any subtitles to really test your listening skills. Okay. As your confidence grows, comma, try watching without any subtitles to really test your listening skills. Great. Let's move on to the next one here. Pay attention to idiomatic expressions and try to use them in your own conversations. Full stop. Pay attention to idiomatic expressions and try to use them in your own conversations. Full stop. Great. Let's move on to the next part of the paragraph. Furthermore, comma, 
series often reflect cultural nuances, comma, giving you insight into the English speaking world's ways of life. Now let's try that one again, and I'll go a little bit slower this time. Furthermore, comma, series often reflect cultural nuances, comma, giving you insight into the English speaking world's ways of life. Full stop. You guys are doing really, really well. All right, let's keep going. This method of learning is not only effective, but also enjoyable. Full stop. Let's go back one more time. This method of learning is not only effective, but also enjoyable full stop let's move on to the next one you can choose genres that interest you comma making the learning process more engaging. All right, let's go one more time. I'll go a bit slower this time. You can choose genres that interest you, comma, making the learning process more engaging for stock. And now we're moving on to the last, but certainly not least, um, paragraph here. And I hope that you're all ready for the last one. Let's go. Whether it's comedy, comma, drama, comma, or science fiction, comma, there's a wealth of 
content available to suit your interests. Great, well done. Let's go back. Whether it's comedy, comma, drama, comma, or science fiction, comma, there's a wealth of content available to suit your interests full stop perfect remember comma consistency is key full stop great let's go back remember consistent oh sorry let's go back one more time remember comma consistency is key full stop great next sentence try to make it a regular part of your learning routine, comma, and you'll see significant improvements over time. All right, and that's the last one. We're going to go back one more time to hear that last one again. Try to make it a regular part of your learning routine comma and you'll see significant improvements over time full stop great so that is the the text um let us know how you did and how you followed i'm sure you have been letting us know i just haven't seen the comments for a while I've been no, reading. No. yeah perfect <laughs> uh, uh, maybe you could read the whole text once again uh yeah. not too slow but not too fast i know i'm asking for like a difficult task because it's not very precise but like mm -hmm. just read the whole text once again but not at a normal pace but a little bit slower than you would do in your daily life in english sir for sure for sure guys thank, All thank right. you very much. let's go through it well, let's go through it again there we go 
watching series in English. Watching series in English is a fantastic way to enhance your language skills. Full stop. It allows you to hear English used in a variety of contexts, comma, from casual conversations to complex discussions, full stop. By exposing yourself to different accents and dialects, comma, you can improve your understanding and pronunciation, full stop. Initially, comma, you might find it challenging, comma, but using subtitles can help bridge the gap. As your confidence grows, comma, try watching without any subtitles to really test your listening skills. Full stop. Pay attention to idiomatic expressions and try to use them in your own conversations. Full stop. Furthermore, comma, series often reflect cultural nuances, comma, giving you insight into the English speaking world's ways of life. Full stop. This method of learning is not only effective, but also enjoyable. Full stop. You can choose genres that interest you, comma, making the learning process more engaging, full stop. Whether it's comedy, comma, drama, comma, or science fiction, comma, there's a wealth content available to suit your interests, full stop. Remember, comma, consistency is key, full stop. Try to make it a regular part of your learning routine comma, and you'll see significant improvements over time. Full stop. And there we go. Thank you. I... Thank you very much. So <laughs> I'm going to display the text. Uh, you, you can, uh, I'm going to, uh, you don't need my. Oh, I can no longer hear you, Adrian. <laughs> I think you've, you've turned yourself off here. Oh, sorry, sorry for that. So, guys, you can download this uh, PDF. It's very simple. I'm going to give you the link in the comments. So you just enter your email and you have like at the bottom of the page, there is a section called dictations and you can download the PDF and the correction for free. OK, so. Um, so I have a question for you, which is very simple. Thank you, James. Uh, <laughs> no how was it? How did it go? Was it an easy dictation? 
Uh, was it what you expected before doing the dictation? Was it hard? Was it tough? Was it easy? And uh, I would like also to say hi to Lisa, who is like listening to us. Oh, I hope you're doing, I hope, the dictation. <laughs> yes, yes. We keep, will keep, keep writing. <laughs> yes. So it was easy, says Josiane. Long but easy. A lot of thank you for you, sir. You did a great job. So thank you very much. I'm glad. As, as long as it's helping you guys, and I'm sure if you're following along, it will really help, you know, yeah. with your ability to, to listen, to understand, and to even pick up on new words that I may be saying while I'm speaking. All right, perfect. Uh, can, can everyone see the dictation? Can everyone see the text? Can you see it? Uh, if you could write a yes or no, that will be perfect. If you want to get the PDF to get the correction, let me send you. If you have questions for James, yeah, let, now let, let is the time. <laughs> yeah, but put your questions in the comments, and I'll be and I'll be ready to answer them. There we go. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. All right. I have pinned the comments. So pronunciation is good, but yeah. for me, difficult to understand the text, not enough vocab. So, uh, James, I got a question for you. For what sure. would you advise to someone uh, who wants to improve uh, her understanding or his understanding of English um, doing dictations? What would you do to, like, basically to make sure that you understand dictations so that you better understand English? Do you have yeah, a I mean, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> actually, I think the meaning of the text is a very good thing to follow when you're doing this. It's exactly so going through it without any kind of aid to begin with, like you have, and then after maybe one or two times of listening to it, going through with a trans, maybe a translation or even maybe a transcript in English. And in doing this, you're going to the amount of times that you're going to be listening to this will help you to over time pick up on your um, your skills of being able to understand quickly. Okay, thank you very much. I was uh, answering uh, Joel, who's, who was asking, <laughs> like, what does enhance mean? Enhance. So enhance means enhance. to... Sorry, my goodness. Yeah. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. It makes it even more. So it uh, exaggerates, it enhances something. So it makes it more. That's that's the best um, explanation that I can give there. Okay. Is that okay, Joel, for you? So the that page is perfect. actually, I just tasted the page for the PDF and it works. And uh, Joel is asking again, uh, what does enhance mean? So if you could give the explanation one Absolutely. more time, if you don't mind. Absolutely. I'll, I'll try and go even further. So to enhance means to make something more. So you might enhance um, the flavor of a dish by adding more salt or more spices. You're making the flavor even more than it was before. Um, let, let us know if that has answered your question, Joel. And thank you for your question. Um, and as we've said, oh, which series do you recommend? I've, uh, I've seen a, a nice question here. Oh, I mean, it, it all depends, obviously, on um, what your preferred kind of thing is. And that's the beautiful thing um, with language learning. You can use pretty much anything that you enjoy watching. I mean, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Um, so I would go for Harry Potter and like li li read and watch this in many different languages. Um, and yeah, the, there's, the, there are many different things that maybe you have different things that you like to watch than me. Okay. Awesome. So Bruno, Bruno is asking, what's the level of the dictation? What's the level of the conversation we are having now? What do you think? Beginners, intermediate, advanced. 
Oh, do you mean the dictation that I read, or the or what we're talking the about now? The dictation and the okay. conversation we are having now. Absolutely, yeah. I would say that the the dictation would probably be around a B one B two level. Would you Would you agree with me there? Yeah, absolutely. So, so like yeah. intermediate. Yeah. So some of the some of the vocabulary there um, are words that I think that you would learn around that point. Um, and probably the same about the conversation that we're having here. Yes, but maybe uh, the, the, we speak, I mean, like right now we're speaking a little bit um, quicker than usual. So it may be a bit hard for you guys, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's, you understand what we are talking about. Maybe you do not understand each word, yeah. it does not matter. And also we are going to organize this dictation of course it's going to be a different one so good job michelle well done uh two mistakes for michelle we are, are going to organize this dictation pretty much every week okay so i will send you an email each week in advance and then you can join us live for this dictation and i'm quite sure that very soon you're gonna get rid of me guys so good for you <laughs> and good for you <laughs> And then you can focus like solely on the dictation. Of course, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm very glad that uh, James, who is one of the teachers on I Speak Spoke, Spoken English, um, that is going to animate those uh, live sessions on a weekly basis. So each week on Wednesday, 4 p.m. Paris time, 4 p.m. Paris time, 9 a.m. New York time. All right. Does anyone have any questions? We are listening. <laughs> While we're waiting for another question, I just wanted to say that if anyone is below that B1, B2 level um, and you're on an A1, A2, A3 or something like this, you can still follow along with these and still get value from this because any input is good input, you know? Um, so that's that. Um, anything else? Um, let's have a look. Um, Bruno says that the conversation after the dictation is good also. Mm -hmm. Training. So I, I, I understand that the text uh, is like very like in very small. The font is very uh, is absolutely uh, hard to read, but obviously you can download the PDF and it's going to be in normal size. So once again, if you want to have the PDF, just click on the link Perfect. and that should do the trick. <laughs> click on that link. Yeah. Oh, All right, good. guys. So I good think job, it's, time, uh, it's time to part ways, if I may say so. Uh, yep. Thank you again, James. Thank you so much. No worries, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So I, I love that exercise. That's awesome. And Michelle says, uh, awesome. I really love this new YouTube channel. I speak spoke spoken English. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. yes, well, every week at the same time. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, well Thank done, you. everybody. I'm, I'm seeing all of your comments of how well that you've done. So pat yourself on the back and be proud of yourself because I'm Absolutely. very proud of you. Let's do that. <laughs> That's what Thank you guys. You bye bye, guys. Bye, guys. bye bye. Have a good Have a nice one. day. Bye -bye. Have a nice and see you next week. See you next week. <laughs>